This video will show you how to add materials to your course. Schoology gives you a couple different ways to do it. The first way is to use the Add Materials button. On your materials page or when you are inside a folder, this materials button is available. So if you click on that, you get a list of the various types of materials you can add. I will demonstrate how to add an assignment, but adding a page or a discussion is very similar. And you can experiment with adding some of the other materials on your own. So we'll click on add an assignment and you get a pop-up window and you can see that it's an assignment that you're creating. We need to um, give the assignment a name, so I'll call it simply assignment. In this area in here, um, you can add whatever text you need to add as well as images and videos. So I'll just add some text in there, kind of big. <laughs> you can uh, change the size, the font size. You'll notice, however, that Schoology does not give you a choice in font style. That's just um, a way that they simplify things. And it actually uh, keeps things, things looking nice and uniform as well. Okay, so we have an editor toolbar here rich text editor and you can do uh, things that you're familiar with bold italics underline you can create a bulleted list or a numbered list this is where you can select your font um, uh, color and your highlighting color this allows you to do some additional formatting and clear all formatting this is actually really handy if you're copying and pasting from an another location you can uh, paste into the box and then clear the formatting and that makes everything uniform. This it increases or decreases your indent and you can uh, do your alignment right in here. There's a link uh, button and an insert co content button which we'll go into in a later uh, video. You can add tables, um, spell check, choose a style, a heading or paragraph style, um, change your font size, and then this little carrot minimizes and maximizes your window. So definitely if you're going to do some formatting, you want to have it in the expanded view. These little dots allow you to switch to HTML um, and then back again to visual formatting. Once you've added the content to your assignment box, look at the options just below the assignment. You can attach a, a file here, a link here, you can add items from your resource area. You can click here to record and attach an audio file. And then this last icon is used to add external tools like Edgenuity, but not something that a teacher would normally use. In this area here, you can add a due date here, choose a category assignment, and even create a new category here. Um, then you can uh, assign the points, uh, and that would go along with your, with your scale or rubric. And then down below in, these, in the advanced area, don't be afraid of the word advanced. This allows you to individually assign uh, this to a student or to a group of students. It allows you to, uh, to align to learning objectives, and the common core um, state standards are in Schoology. The lock um, uh, icon means that you can lock an assignment so that students can no longer submit. So maybe an assignment that's um, passed and you don't want anyone going back and submitting. This enables or disables submissions, which means uh, if submissions are enabled, which is the default for Schoology, it means that students can turn in assignments electronically inside Schoology and you would be able to collect um, uh, and grade and then return assignments in a paperless environment. If you are collecting paper assignments in class, it's best to disable the submissions so that students don't get confused. The next icon allows you to uh, make the assignment visible or hidden from students. You can enable or disable grade statistics, but I'll confess that I don't understand that feature yet, so I leave it disabled. Um, you can enable or disable comments. Some uh, teachers feel that leaving the comments enabled can be confusing. 
uh, to students because they might try to submit assignments in there. It's up to you. You can experiment with that. Um, Schoology allows commenting in so many areas that it is sometimes difficult to keep up with all of those areas. So you might try disabling that. Um, and then once you're done, you just click the blue Create button and your assignment has been created. When you create an assignment this way, the assignment does um, uh, show up at the bottom of your list, but you can grab it and drag it wherever you need it to go. Another way to add an assignment is to hover over any of these pale gray lines you see on the page. When you do that, the, the uh, line turns green, and if you click on it, you get your pop-up window with your various choices and you can um, add your assignments or other content from here. When you do that, the assignment will appear in the location that you've selected.